Hi, everybody. Hello. Okay, so this week we don't really have a video as in a joint going out uh, because work's just started and everybody seems to be at work. Same with me. And uh, so what we've done is uh, just prepared some preparational work for jaunting. Um, what I've done is I've put it, I've built this map here uh, that's going to be behind us. That's um, a standard map that we got, and I've put it on a backing and put a frame around it and like a piece perspex on it, so it looks a bit more presentable. Uh, we get oh, in the in in the future. What we're going to do is we want to take a, a cokey or something and mark out where we're going. So you'll be able to see the route we took and what happened actually where it is. Um, I hope that's going to be all right. There are a couple little tips and things that are put in the video. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's have a look what happens. You people must have an awesome week. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Graham's looking how to... Watch a project here. But what are you talking about pins? Pins what? Pin, them, pin it on. Won't work. Oh, okay, so tell me your project, babe. I don't know what to do here. I'm just... <laughs>
Okay, so here we have a piece of chroma dick. It's a piece of steel that I make signs out of. Uh, you can see it's an off cut here. So what I need to do is I need to take this protective plastic coating off and I'll, I'll come back in a minute so I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. It's going to look like this clean. Uh, that's me with the shadow. But yeah, it comes out nice and clean and then I'm going to stick the map onto this and then put perspex on top of it and frame it. Let's see how that goes. Graham, what's happening? Okay, so what I've done is I've stuck this to the steel. Yes. Using this press stick. This stuff. Okay. Piece, piece, rolling it flat. Yes. It's not completely flat, but it'll be all right. Graham, even ironed the map. Yeah, for the folds. Mm. So I want to put that clear over that. Yes. And that will hold it all nice in place. Then I'm going to cut this steel. Yes, oh, to, to size, that size, yeah. To fit the frame. Yes. We've uh, got a nice frame we found. We've got an old frame. Yeah, this one here. This old frame that needs a bit of revamping, but it's a nice size. Yeah. And that'll go over that. It's the right size. Wow, it's gonna look uh, nice. We'll put a bit of white edge all around. Yes. Like that. Mm hmm and I think it'll look nice. Fantastic, babes. And then we're going to start plotting little roots. Oh, yeah. Um, you say that it's it's not a very good map on, on to plot on, is it? No. This block mm -hmm. is how thin. Now, oh, if you yes. follow my finger, yes. it's enlarged over here. Oh, okay. So go there and you'll see the whole map. This oh, is the okay. edge here. Yes. Oh, which right. is that one. Okay. So it's been enlarged there. Okay. And also, um, this one here, mm -hmm. in KwaZulu Natal. When we start visiting there, yeah. Is that one over there. Oh, okay. So you can have a look at everything in a little bit yeah. more detail, but it's not fancy. Yeah. We're going to get uh, a better map eventually, um, so we can do more mapping as we travel, because the ship's coming in this year. Huh? Yep. It's coming so in. we're going to travel more. This to size. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah, okay. That's that side, and I want to do this edge here. I won't fall now. So, we're not traveling this week again. We're just waiting for things to change before we can go um, and book something. We've only just got back into work again. Yeah, so what we're doing is just keeping ourselves busy. Yes. Okay, so now that's cut to size, basically. Mm -hmm. Now what I need to do is measure this from that edge. Hold on, yes. From that edge yeah. to the inner there, to that ah, edge. Ah, okay. So this must be that wide, so it's going to be about the... Yeah, okay. I was supposed to put it in the middle, but I didn't want the join open. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to have a bit of white on the one side, but that's not a serious okay. train smash. That's fine. So I'm going to tin snip it now. I'm going to measure it and tin snip it. Okay, okay. so now? Okay, so now I'm going to do this tin snipping, and these are the tin snips that I have. Cut this steel material. Tin snips. Oh, they're ancient, like everything they're else. They're ancient, like me. <laughs> <laughs> 2.5. One meter. So it fits in the frame. Okay. Now I'm just cut the perspex to go on top of this and then put it all together, okay. sandwich it. Yeah. Right, so what I need to do now is I need to cut the perspex.
Okay, so I've cut the first picks and I've cut the steel. Everything is together. Doesn't look too bad. Could be better always, obviously. There's a couple of little creases, but I think in time that'll go away. I think it looks all right. Let's have a look if we can find something here. Yeah, we can go here. We can go all over the show and have a look what we got. Shouting, big place. Some nice garden produce again. Always getting from the garden. The last lot I froze. I cooked, uh, sort of blanched it and, and froze it. It was lovely and we had some the other night. Three huge courgettes. Courgettes. Cut up. I'm gonna have some for dinner and I'm gonna freeze the rest from the garden. So this is my spinach harvest. There's two basins full and one bucket full. So there's lots of cooking to do. Here's all my packets of rhubarb. I haven't even counted how many there are. But this is how much I cooked. And I'm going to freeze it. Sure. And it's lovely with custard and I make rhubarb tart. So that's part of our garden produce. So here I'm preparing spinach to freeze. Um, frying it for a while, just stirring it. Then I'm going to put cheese sauce and put them in the freezer. Okay, all mixed up. And I'm going to put them into these little packets. So, eight packets of spinach. Uh, for freezing, it freezes well. I've done it before, it's lovely. And I've still got a whole lot more to harvest, another half. So, yeah, hope you enjoy cooking like I do. Not all the time, but I've got loads to do, washing the other, and there's still a whole lot in the garden still. Oh, yummy! So, after soaking it in salt water, cold salt water, I have now fried it, and uh, there's a lot of water at the bottom. I'm just draining it off the bottom. And then I'm going to leave it to cool, put my next load in, then I'm going to make a bechamel sauce with... Um, cheese and that's what I add and then I make packets and freeze them it's so easy when and it's home grown I make sure all the water's out and throw that away and then that's my spinach waiting there drop a bit of oil in the bottom and then I'm gonna just slice it up from the end up all the way and put that in I just chop it with a big knife and throw it in the pot. Some nice cheese bechamel sauce and then there's more in here for the other spinach. So I'm going to have about probably six packets or seven packets of spinach to freeze for easy meals. Wow. 